Back in the World Cup Finals, US North is up 4-3 at the moment versus West. Finch playing for North East, Legs playing for West. Finch brings a team that looks like Auras, but this is black and white, so most likely Life Up or Sash on Alakazam, Spikes, Pharaoh, Rocks on either the Tita or the Heatran. I could see the Ferrothon or the Slowbro having T-Wave as well for some speed control, because Finch's team seems like really slow. Legs brings some sort of Sunstall. And yeah, Finch can either switch out into Heatran here or go for Protect. Does have Protect on the Gliss score. If he didn't have it, then he would have had to switch out. Because you obviously don't want to get potentially get burned. But yeah, Lex just went for a taunt. Now Lex should taunt again in case this Gliscor had Toxic. He obviously doesn't want to get Toxic on the Sableye. Also, he just went for taunt turn 1 because he didn't want to Wisp into a Heatran and give it a Flash Fire boost. Completely understandable play. And yeah, Finch just goes for off. We get some good chip on the Sableye. I feel like Lex shouldn't stay in here. He doesn't really gain much. He's uh, probably gonna have to switch out into either Chansey or Cresselia. So he does switch out, I assume we just see an Earthquake again, yep. And now Finch uh, has to either protect or switch out in the Heatran to scout for Ice Beam. I assume there's an Ice Beam Crest with like... Uh, Ice Beam Crest with like Moonlight, maybe HP Fire because it's a Sun team. And last move, I'm not sure if it's Lu Luna Dance, T-Wave or something along those lines. I don't play Black and White at all, so I kinda have to just guess the set. But I either protect or switch out here is the play. Uh, I don't know what Lex predicted the doubling into Tita. Maybe he predicted the Heatran, but I'm not 100% sure about that. But I assume this Tentacruel is going to be a Scald Rapid Spin. Uh, either Toxic or Toxic Spikes. And not sure about the last move. It could definitely be T-Spikes because he has a Sableye, which can uh, spin block opposing spinners. And he goes into Chansey there. Now, Chansey can get up the rocks unless he has rocks on Heatran. Finch is going to switch out here, most likely in the Ferrothorn, which scouts for the Chansey having Toxic and also... Um, allows Finch to most likely get up, go for either knockoff or spikes. So Chansey just gets up the rocks. Now we see either spikes or knockoff most likely from Finch here. Lex has to go into either one of his fire types or into Tentacruel to potentially then um, spin away or try to scald burn the Ferrothorn. Also, um, you um, on a stun stall team like this, people will use Duck Trio quite often until Duck Trio got banned in black and white. I think you still see Diglett sometimes. But the, yeah, this team also doesn't have a diglet. And yeah, people used Eject Button Ninetales into Duck Trio when Duck Trio was allowed. But now uh, Lex is either going to spin here or, to, um, or try to get a Scald Burn. I assume we're just going to see a knockoff from Finch. Goes for Power but misses. I think Power would have done like 40-ish to this Tentacruel. It's a bit of an annoying miss because if Finch can get rid of the Tentacruel, then he can later in the game Hazard Stack Lex, which would be really good for Finch because if he can Hazard Stack and the Ninetales gets chipped down from Hazards, Finch can easily win the Weather War with his Tita uh, in the long run if he's able to do that. So Lex is trying to get a burn here. Uh, Finch knocked off the Black Sludge and now he goes for Power Up, gets some good damage, 39. Uh, now it's between power up and knockoff here. Um, like knockoff would cover a switch, but I think you just power up again because if he switches out, the spike stays on the field. So power up seems like a fine play, but he knock off, knocks off, predicting a switch. And then Lex is trying to get the burn, but then just Ferrothorn seems to be well trained. I think he used three skulls, I think. I don't know exactly. He used a few skulls and he hasn't gotten burned yet. So Finn just most likely just gonna click power up again. Uh, Lex is just trying to get the burn here. Finn hits the power up. And the Tentacruel now dies to Hazard, so he can't switch out. So all he can do here is either Scald or get up a T-Spike, and he decides to get up a T-Spike. Because if he um, would have Rapid Spawn there, he would have died. I is that how you say it? Rapid Spawn? He would have died to the Iron Barbs. And if he would have switched out, he would have died to the Spikes. So yeah, that was the correct play. The T-Spike is not too bad for Finch. It only hits the Slowbro and the Titar. So Heatran comes out. Getting rid of Feroth, uh, of Tentacruel is amazing for Finch because he can get up rocks later with Tren or Tar. And then uh, also Spike Stack with the Pharaoh and everything like is going to get chipped on Lex's team. And then he can win the Weather War in the long run. So Slowbro comes out and I don't know if this is a... This could either be a T-Wave or a Karma and Slowbro is what I'm guessing here. So if it's a if it's not T-Wave, then he has to just slack off, but if it's T-Wave, I think he's just going to click it here. So there's a Magma Storm Balloon Tran. Uh, I, I, I assume this is like Lex's way of switching into opposing Heatran. Because as long as you have your Balloon opposing Heatrans, if they only have like off power Magma Storm, they can't hit you. And if they have like Toxic Rocks, they can't hit you at all. And also, Balloon makes it so he's immune to spikes, so that's cool. He doesn't take any uh, damage. So I guess we could see an off power here from the Heatran. And either Slack off or T-Wave from... Finch is slow, bro. Also, I haven't talked about the Sableye set yet. I assume it's it should recover and taunt, right? So the other moves could be like um, Foul Play and Nightshade, uh, Will-O-Wisp Nightshade, something along those lines. 
That's what I'm thinking. So there's the T-Wave. Slowbro is gonna live, I'm pretty sure, the um, Toxic plus secondary effect from Magma Storm. And Slowbro now it speeds the Heatran. Slowbro can go for Slack off. And Lex is pretty much forced out here in the long run. Unless he gets crits, he doesn't beat the Slowbro at all. So what is he gonna go to? I guess he can go to Chansey. Um, I don't know if Line Tails carries Solar Beam in Black White. I really have no idea. If it does, I guess he can go to that as well. But even if it has Solar Beam, it would be... He has to play it like careful because he can't click Solar Beam uh, on the turn finish goes into Tita. Because then Solar Beam takes two turns to load and Tita can just um, bop the Nine Tails. But yeah, Finch is definitely gonna slack off here and I feel like we're gonna see a switch into Chansey or maybe Nine Tails. Probably into Chansey. And yeah, this is looking like Finch is in a really good position. It was also a tough matchup for Lex. And not getting the burn when he went for it five times was really annoying for Lex. Because I think it's like a chance of... Like, not getting the burn when you scored five times is like the opponent hitting Focus Blast five times in a row. I think that's how it works. Pretty sure, unless I messed up. But yeah, we just see the slag of here most likely and Chansey comes out. So, uh, Finch can either slack off here to keep the Slowbro extra healthy, that way he can check the Heatran better. He might have to do that, because with Rocks up, otherwise the Slowbro, and with being po toxic, not toxic, just poison one layer of T-Spikes, but he wants to be super healthy, that way he can check the Heatran, right? So he, he might just slack off again here. His other play would be going into either Ferrothon or Gliscor, probably into Ferrothon. But yeah, Lex does double into the Ninetales there, probably predicting the Ferrothon to come out. Gets up the Sun. And now, uh, obviously, Finch is gonna switch out here into either Heatran or Titar. Goes into Titar, changes up the weather, gets chipped a little bit. And yeah, if this is like Scarfta, I'm not sure if it is. But it can't beat the Chansey down. So Lex can just go for Softball here. And I don't think Finch wants to stay in and get chipped down, so he does go into Heatran. And yeah, since he didn't go for rocks with the Titar, I assume Hedron is gonna be the rocker. So Finch can now just get up the rocks. Lex has to either switch out into his own Tran, um, not wanting... Yeah, probably he's just gonna go to his own Tran, because in case Finch has Magma Storm on his Tran, Lex doesn't want the Chansey to get trapped. And now Finch can go into his Slowbro. That's exactly why he softballed it again earlier to keep it uh, healthy, so he can check this Heatran. And yeah, Lex is probably just gonna Magma Storm to get some good damage. Mm -mm. But yeah, this is a Rock's turn, probably Magma Storm off power, and maybe HPIs are Protect in the last slot. Or oh, Tox Toxic is another option on, on Finch's turn in the last slot. But yeah, Slowbro is going to come out, and we're going to see either off power or Magma Storm from Lex. But yeah, now that he has the Rocks up, that and the Spike, that Night Health is getting chipped uh, a lot, and can only come in like one or two more times. I think he can come in two more times, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, um, looking, not looking too good for Lex. And yeah, Finch is gonna switch to Slowbro here. What, what else was I gonna talk about? Is there another set I wanted to talk about? I mean, the Chansey showed Estos. Did it show? I mean, it's obvious that it has Estos. Then Softball and Rocks. But the last move on the Chansey... Is this a static move? Status move? Oh, yeah, I assume it's a status move. Like Toxic, maybe. I don't think it's Heal Bell. Um, but if it had heal but it can probably uh, potentially heal the, the para from the trend. But yeah, Slowbro can eat that up. And Slowbro's just gonna slack off here. And the yeah, Alex just has to switch out. Like, this is just not favorable. You don't want to stay in with the trend. Eventually you will get paralyzed. Chansey comes out. And Chansey is pretty much forced to softball because of Sandstorm and hazard damage that it took. And Finch is free to go into Ferrothon here and just throw up another hazard, I'm pretty sure. So he can just go for spikes here. He can also go for a knockoff, but I feel like just going for spikes is fine. And Lex has to go into like Heatran or Ninetales here. So he does go into Ninetales, he's gonna change up the weather. Uh, it's a 51. He has a spike, so now he can only come in one more time to change the weather back. So now Finch here can go into his Heatran or into Tita, but I think Heatran is a fine play here. Because uh, Heatran should be able to wall Ninetales. Lex doubles into uh, his Heatran, potentially predicting Finch to go into Heatran. Only takes rocks, doesn't take spikes because of the balloon, and Finch host protect, so he's gonna get extra leftovers. Now that the sun is up, Finch doesn't have good switch-ins to this, so he might have to sack something. Because with the sun up, I don't think Slower wants to switch in on a magma storm, take rocks, um, toxic spikes, chip, uh, magma storm in the sun, and magma storm secondary effect. So, um, I don't know what he wants to go to. Uh, he goes into Alakazam, so I think he's Sash Alakazam, since he went to that. And yeah, he's able to eat that, okay. And now he can threaten out the Heatran with a Focus Blast. Lex is most likely gonna go Sableye here, um, knowing that the Focus Blast should come out from Finch. 
So um, Sebel has to come out here, then it has to take hazards, and I guess next turn he has to go for recover. Then Finch can potentially predict this here. And do Alakazam carry Shadow Ball? I don't. Do, I don't know what Alakazam carries in in black and white. But yeah, he has to go for recover here. He got him the Sableye. Finch goes back in the Tita to change the weather, which is a good play. I don't think he wants to stay in with the Tita though, and and get worn down more because the Ninetales can only come in one more time. So he wants to preserve health on the Tita. And after the Ninetales comes in the last time, then he can change the weather back, and he won the w and then he wins the weather war. He just has to play the safe, and he's in a completely fine position. So I guess we could see a ni Nightshade here, maybe, or foul play, whatever the Sableye has from legs, and maybe a switch into Gliscor from Finch. Like I said, I don't think he wants to let this let this Tita get chipped more. He turn as an option as well, but I think we're gonna see the Gliscor come out from Finch here, and either foul play or Nightshade, whatever legs has. I assume he's gonna click. That, yeah, like I don't think Scarftar is common in Blackwood, but it might be Scarftar on on Finch's team. I, I'm really not sure. Like, if I say anything wrong, just tell me in the comments. I'm no Blackwood god. I've never played this gen. So now, um, Lex kind of has to go Cresselia here. Heatron is another potential play because as long as it's on a balloon, it can wall this Gliss score. But I assume we're gonna see the Crest come out. Like the reason why you would go Heatran here instead of Crest is if you fear a Toxic from the Gliscor. But I guess if you fear a Toxic, you can also just go for Taunt here with the Sable Eye. She does go into Crest. Do we see um, Finch predict that? He goes for Ice Fang. Okay. He goes for Ice Fang, which would have um, broken the balloon from the Heatran. So he's Ice Fang, Protect, Roost. Uh, not Roost. My bad. My bad. He's Protect, Earthquake, Ice Fang, and we don't know the last move. The last move could be Toxic or Taunt. We don't know it yet. But yeah, Finn just uh, can just switch out here into his Slowbro or his Heatran. So he does go into his Slowbro. Lex goes for Hidden Power Fire, trying to catch the Ferrothorn that does absolutely nothing to the Slowbro. And Lex has to switch out. He cannot touch the Slowbro at all. Crest also doesn't get Leftovers Recovery in the Sand. So he has to switch out into the... Chancy here, I think. If he goes Ninetales, he might just die to a Scald. I mean, Finch can either go for Scald here or Finch can pull a double. Uh, if he breaks the Chancy, he could maybe double into his uh, Ferrothorn here and get up the last layer of Spikes. But he doesn't have to do that. He can also just play it safe, go for either Slag or Scald. He, yeah, Finch wins this game by just playing safe, I'm pretty sure. So you just, just go for Slag of playing it extra safe. Chansey takes all the hazards and sends some chips, so Chansey is forced to go for Softbolt again here. Kind of repetitive, we had the same thing earlier already. Finch goes into his Gliss score uh, this time instead of Ferrothorn. So Lex has to go back into Crest most likely. And yeah, Crest will just get chipped from Rocks and Sandstorm. Like in Moonlight only heals 25 in the Sand. Uh, I think it would heal 75 in the Sun, right? I don't know if I already mentioned this in this video, that in this video. Let's just go back into Crest. Do we see a predict a double? No, we just see the last move and he reveals Taunt. Okay. So the last move is Taunt, not Toxic. And now we can just go back into his Slowbro or Heatran here. And yeah, staying in. Like, Lex is just in a really bad spot. Not like he can do much. Bad matchup as well. So Ice Beams gets a freeze. I don't think that matters too, too much. Get some leftovers back, and the yeah, Finch can just stay in here, try to thaw. Lex is gonna switch out. He's gonna switch out into his own Heatran, most likely. That can then... Or he can... Well, I guess... Hmm. He wants the Sun up, because if he has the Sun up, then the opposing Slowbro can't really switch in well. But yeah, let's just go into his Heatran. Like, I get why he didn't go Ninetales, obviously, because he can only switch in one more time. So I assume we just see off power here. Finch plays it safe, goes into Slowbro. There's a Spadef drop. Uh, so I don't think Finch might want like Finch might want to switch out here Because that's the death drop is annoying. I don't think Slowbro can kill the Heatran from here Like if you slag off here, and it's just not the play for Finch uh, He might have to like go Alakazam here and Then it, it's either a sack or it's Finch hoping for Lex to get parrot But I assume Zam is what's gonna come out here. You still want to keep the Tita healthy Like I don't think going Tita here is, a, is the correct play so we're most likely gonna see the Alakazam come out. And Lex probably just click off power again. Or double double into Ninetales to get the sun. I'm not 100 sure what he predicted there, but he does get up the sun. Maybe he made some genius play, I didn't understand it. Let me know in the comments if you understood it. So he's threatened out by a, a psychic, obviously. 
and Chansey is just gonna have to heal here. Softball is gonna come out. Finch can just switch out. Goes into Ferrothorn, and now Ferrothorn can get up the last layer of spikes, right? You can also click Knockoff, which would um, break Heatran's balloon. I think I don't think it's broken yet, but he can just get up the last layer. It doesn't matter too too much, but I assume he's just gonna get the last layer. Chansey goes for Estots. Doesn't really gain Lex anything, but like to be f like he can't do much. I don't want to hate on him. This is a tough matchup. He didn't get the burn also, and yeah, he sacks the Nightlets to Hazards. The only other way he would have had to get the Nightlets back is a potential Luna Dance on the Crest. But yeah, Heatran comes out, and I assume we're gonna see Finch go into Alakazam again because now the sun is up, which means Slowbro can't really switch into Sun Magma Storm, Sun Boosted Magma Storm. I don't know why I can't talk sometimes, but yeah, that's just Gozam attempting to sack it. There's the full para. So now, um, yeah, Lex might just want to go back into Sableye here, but it doesn't really too. It doesn't matter that like the para helps Finch, but it it doesn't matter. Like, okay, what is he saying? The whole game could have been different if he burned the Pharaoh. Yeah, it could have definitely been different, but like I feel like Lex would have, like a lot would have to go his way for him to have a chance in this game, and Finch just has a good matchup as well. And yeah, Finch played it fine. A nice little discussion between the smog just jet and lags. Always, always fun. But now um, Finch is gonna attempt to saw out here. As we can see, uh, Lex can either go out back to his own Heatran or he can just click Nightshade. So Heatran thaws out. Lava Plume does a lot. So this Sableye is forced out because Ma Lava Plume in the sun is too much. So it's Lava Plume, not Magma Storm. Interesting, interesting. So he goes in his Heatran knowing that he can wall this. Opposing trend, we see Toxic as the last move. Um, I think Finch predicted the Chansey to come out there, maybe. Doesn't really matter. So now Finch can just protect here to get some leftovers back with his Heatran. Uh, Lex is either gonna click... Yeah, 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 I guess Earth Power or Magma Storm. But yeah, protect is super free here to get extra lefties. There's the Para. And now I guess we're gonna see him attempt... Well, he can either go Tita here to change the weather. Or he can go Alakazam. Yeah, he goes Alakazam. Dodges a Magma Storm, some more hacks in his favor. Not that it matters at this point. He had this game wrapped up, I'm pretty sure. So he can just click Focus Blast here. He can also click Psychic or like... He can just click a random button as well. Yeah, he clicks Hidden Power. I don't know what Hidden Power that is. It might be Ice. I really don't know. But yeah, that just pops the Balloon, which makes it so Gliscor can now off quick. He doubles out on Tita Brick in the Crest. He had to let him know late game. Did he go Crest? Yup. So late game Finch was like, let me show, uh, let me pull some nice double on this guy real quick. And now Tita can just click Crunchy, I assume. Lex goes into Sableye. Sableye is gonna be sacked off here. And yeah, this game is a wrap. And now what does he go to? Chansey. So Chansey has to softball here. I assume Finch is gonna switch out. Switches out into Ferrothorn. And Ferrothorn is free to click the lead sheet. And pretty much this Ferrothorn wins on its own because Heatran, if it's yeah, Heatran can't switch in here because it might die to like if it leech sheets. Yeah, that's the leech sheet. So Heatran probably goes down because it doesn't have lefties. It was a balloon variant. Yep. So now this is just over because HP Fire from Crest probably does like 38 or something. Like Moonlight heals nothing also. He knocks off the leftovers. Now he can just leech sheet. And yeah, HP Fire gonna do like maybe 38. 32. That did nothing. Okay, and he leech sheet. And does, did Lex just forfeit? Because this game is obviously over. I mean, they said GG already, so he might have just forfeited. Okay, Finch goes in a trend on the HP Fire. And now he can go for Lava Plume. Sun boosted Lava Plume. Crest pretty much dead. And he just forfeits. Thank you guys for watching. Norsis is up 5 3 now. Next game is Rob Jr. vs. Aima, aka Pork Shopman. Stay tuned for that, gonna bring it live to you. So pretty much what's um, going on here is if Rob wins the next game, US Northeast wins World Cup. If Pogchapman wins then the next the last match, which would be High versus JYH numbers guy, that game would still matter. If Pogchapman can win the game, then it would be 5-4, and then the last game would decide if it's 5-5 and tiebreaker or if it's um, if Northeast wins. Or if Northeast wins the next game it's 6-3 and they win immediately. And if they don't win the next game, they can still win the game after and win 6-4. Or if West wins the next two games, it's 5-5 and we see a tiebreaker. So it's still interesting. Close finals, really cool. Peace out, friends. Stay tuned for more content. Smash the like button and goodbye.